Weekly collection update. Number 35, number 36, number 37, and number 38. Hello everybody, it's Shao Jack here back on the weekly collection update. So let's see what we want. This week, the last week, the week before that, and the week before that. Yes guys, I am back after about a month of not making any videos. Um, yeah, so sorry about that. Um, I just kind of got a little sidetracked and just kind of forgot to make them but you know um i'm back now so yeah i'll tell you what i got those four previous weeks um i didn't get anything yep i have nothing for you to show well i have nothing to show you i should rather i should say um i mean there's some there's some news i can talk about though obviously doctor who's back on telly and um, three weeks ago um First episode, the woman who fell to earth. Now, I might wait until the end of the series and make a whole video on all ten episodes. Now, my first thoughts of the very first episode is it was just like it's just poor. If I'm I'm, I'm going to be brutally honest here. I'm just if you guys don't agree with me, you don't need to agree with me. But this is my opinion on the matter. Jodie Whittaker. Is she's to me, in my opinion, she's just quite a weak actor. She she looks she really looks like she's overacting and trying to like make herself the character rather than actually be the character. And it she was frustrating to watch, frankly. The only good part of the episode was Bradley Walsh. He was superb. He was brilliant. But Jody, I just don't like Jody's acting. She's just. I don't know what to make of it, but I think she needs some acting lessons, if I'm being honest. Um, the rest of the story was really naff as well. I mean, people were saying it was fantastic, you know, but the monster was... A spoiler alert, by the way. The monster... I bet you really want to watch it. Um, the, the monster was a guy, some guy who came from this planet to hunt people, and then if you killed some people he'd returned victorious as the new leader or something like that and he took his helmet off and uh no no actually i'll tell you before before he did that the companions and the doctor asked him so why are you pulling people's teeth out because every time he killed someone he pulled a tooth out and he goes right i'll show you and he took his mask off and he had all these teeth glued to his face and i was like what is this this He's the tooth fairy in Doctor Who, and I was like, right, thanks. That's, and you've you've done it all, you know. You've you've had Daleks, Cybermen, and now the Tooth Monster, brilliant. But oh uh, yeah, you go. The episode wasn't for me. I didn't like it, and you just knew that. Uh, another spoiler alert here, by the way. You just knew that the Bradley Walsh's wife was gonna die at the end of it. I just felt no sympathy. Sympathy. There you go. It, it, it was, uh, uh, and and another word on it. It was too too cinematic. The whole episode was far too cinematic. Um, it felt like I was watching a movie. When if you compare it to some, I don't know. Here we go. If you compare it to the classics, you know, they've got. I don't know. It just feels like TV. It just feels. Feels like you're in the room with them. They, for example, they would be filming the doctor, right? And then they would kind of, if, if, uh, I don't know, let's just say Perry was standing there, then you'd go like that, pan across rather than all these cinematic jumps. And it's like poof, big, vast landscapes, you know? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, I mean, I did get a lot of views though. Oh, 8 million plus, I think, which was pr pretty good if you think about it, but. The episode wasn't for me. I haven't seen the other two episodes yet, frankly, because I couldn't be bothered watching them. I will get around to it at some point, but my heart just wasn't in it. Um, I will watch them, of course, at some point, but I am a classic fan, I have to say. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I do like the new series, but for me it's a different show. And this is even further away from the new series. This is like a completely new series from the new series. So. The classic Doctor Who, um, then the movie kind of like created classic, like it kind of, 
I mean, I still, I still kind of like the movie. The movie was like the last hurrah for classic Who, but the movie kind of opened a new door for New Who, and then New Who was was pretty. I, I like New Who. That's how I got into Doctor Who. You know, watching Christopher Eccleston and David Tennant do their stuff, and they were brilliant. But, but, and then you know, Matt Smith and Peter Capaldi, uh, Capaldi were all right, but I hated Series Ten. That was just. That's kind of what created this abomination of a TV series because it, I like it in a different way to classic Doctor Who. It's it's different. I I class them as different TV shows altogether. But anyway, that's my opinion on the matter. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll do some sort of scripted video at the end of the series and I'll talk about everything that's happened in the series and. Just briefies on it and oh dear dear and me. Alright, now that I've got that out of the way. Right, so other news elsewhere, I'm actually moving house in two weeks. So as you can see in the past few videos, my room has been very sparse. Um uh, for example, my cabinet here has just got the pert wee guy in it. And all my posters are gone. Um, except for my few are still up because I had to put some back up because there was all these marks all over the wall and when people were coming to see the house my mum said oh don't want people seeing all these marks so I put them because like when you take the poster off the blue sack pulls off bits of wallpaper and leaves wee uh, marks so um, yeah I had to put some back up in other words um, so yeah, it'll be exciting getting a new room, new display, um, getting a garage as well for myself, that's pretty cool. So, but yeah, that's everything I think. Um, hopefully I'll have some, st oh, um, actually, one more thing, I pre-ordered season 19, so that comes out in November, earlier, mid to late, so just sometime in November, and, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that and add another one to the collection, the Blu-ray collection. So, yeah, that's everything. Looking forward to moving, forward to season 19 and other stuff, you know. Um, so yeah, guys, this was a this was actually a bit of a longer video. These videos are usually only about two minutes, but I have that we rant about first episodes. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, I actually laughed at that episode, it was terrible. Sorry guys, it, it was, it was something else. I, I just didn't like it, it was <laughs> bad. Anyway guys, as always guys, stay tuned, stay posted, and as always guys, Shara's Jack, out.